can you talk about the uniqueness or unique challenges that comes with edge? And we'll go back to the word that you used about ease of use. So let's talk about the challenges associated with the edge and how Akamai or the whole Kubernetes ecosystem is making it Kubernetes and easy doesn't go hand in hand, but it's still making it easier. So there's no hurdles and roadblocks for adoption at the edge. So when you think about edge, you're talking about smaller resource constrained environments, right? Where you typically do have to be a little bit more aware of exactly what those limitations are. And that causes this divide. You have cloud computing and then you have edge computing. And even today where CNCF has put together white papers to define what is considered edge native, which builds on the principles of cloud native, right? They essentially took the 12 factor app principles and evolved it to account for these constraints, these other conditions that are apparent in an edge environment. So what we're doing, and to clarify, when it comes to edge, right, is that edge compute, is that leaf devices, right, is it client edge, we fall within the category of provider edge. We are a provider providing servers at the edge. So that can be the cutoff point between that and the end user. That can be a gateway for even further edge devices to come back. This is the typical play. But what we are doing to make this easier is we are pushing compute resources to the edge. So these are constrained areas where today for provider edge, it looks like very, very stateless workloads, some caching, some edge functions, but we're pushing the ability to do processing at the edge. Is that AI inferencing? Is that running a data pipeline? We have this sort of three phase approach for how we're rolling out Gecko, and the third phase of that is going to be workload orchestration. So this is where I get excited, is thinking, okay, I'm going to orchestrate, say, in Argo workflows to run a data pipeline at one of our edge locations and then use another edge location that's very close to what I'm doing at another cloud provider that needs to ingest it, manipulate that state, send it back, and we create that fluidity. So this is where we can take the concepts of cloud native and you still have that central management in a data center, but that it can be edge aware and sort of crawl out to the edge or use certain parts of the edge very smoothly and I'm really, really excited for how creative our users are going to get with this over the coming years.